I thought it would be a bit of fun to test the EBL Smart Charger against the XTAR L4 since I've got them both. Of course, one of them is going to be the winner, the other, well, is going to be the runner-up. Which is which? We'll find out together. Now I've got a couple of AAA batteries and uh, we'll put one in each of the units. And that's showing green, which it should be showing red, so you need to put in two two batteries to get it to operate and charge. The XTAR L4 in comparison, you just need one battery and it's charging. And you can put anything you like, any combination of batteries in here, it makes absolutely no difference. Look at that. It charges each and every one of them. So all three batteries are charging at the same time. They are all completely different uh, capacities. We'll have a bit of fun on this one. We'll put a, uh, another battery in here. Let's see what happens. That's charging as well. Let's put a third one in. Oh no, nothing. Let's put perhaps one of these in beside it and see what happens. Still nothing. So the circuitry between the two of them, huge difference. The L4 is definitely more advanced than the EBL at the moment. To make it a fair test of drained these three batteries and I'm in the process of doing this one which is the fourth and the way I'm doing it is having the torch turned on when the light goes off it's fully discharged so all batteries will be the same and it'll be interesting to see well which one charges the best out of the two charges we're testing. I'm doing exactly the same method to discharge the nickel metal hydrate batteries here now I've run these batteries completely flat and uh, the torch was used and when the light went out that was the time to pull the battery out. So what have we got? We've got one point, I'll move that across a little bit so you can see, 1.106, 1 1.108 and 1.16 so as you can see they're well and truly um, under 1.5 volts so we'll be popping the EBL smart charger and we'll be using the XTAR L4 and uh, we'll just pop two batteries in. Oops, might help if I put them around the right way, eh? <laughs> um, so two in there, and just a random two, whichever we pick up. That one and that one. So I'll put the power onto these, and then we'll come back later, and we'll check to see what the results are. I've got them all on charge, and it'll be interesting to see how they actually work. We've got two different types of batteries, two different types of batteries over here, so will the XTAR beat the EBL? Well, only time will tell. We'll come back and see what the results are. And as you can see, the XTAR L4 has charged the nickel metal hydrate uh, batteries and the lithium ion, so we've got 1.2 volts and 1.5. The EBL, well, nothing happening at the moment. We're still charging. It's roughly two and a half hours gone by at the moment. And, uh, well, we'll come back in another half hour and see if uh, the EBL has caught up. Well, finally, the nickel metal hydrate batteries on the EBL charger have, well, they're fully charged. It's taken an hour and a half, roughly, longer than the XTAR. So that's a bit of a concern. It's definitely taking its time. Now for the moment of truth, as they say, we've got the little multimeter here. And uh, we'll see what we've got. We'll take the batteries out. And there she goes. So we'll bring the charger out of the way and we'll check the batteries to see what we've got. If I can get it in there, 
Oh. I can't get my hand on it. Let's, oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, I'm having a wonderful time. Okay, 1.376. One point four. What do we got here? Let's try again. That's better. One point four six. One point six seven. So the X-Tar has definitely done a better job on the nickel metal hydrates. Now let's try the lithium ion batteries. Let's see what we've got. One point five one six. One point five one eight for the X star one. See what we got. We've got one point one six one one six. So basically, it hasn't charged, hasn't put any charge at all into the batteries, which is not surprising. Same thing again. So the EBL for lithium ion batteries, forget it, waste of time. It will charge the nickel metal hydrate batteries, but it's a lot slower than the X-Tar one here. This X-Tar L4, absolutely amazing. Very, very impressed with it. Well, I might as well put these other batteries back on charge. The um, X-Tar ones, we'll pop them into this charger. And uh, yeah, so the lithium ion will fully charge on this unit, but not on that one. So that's interesting. Um, so far... Winning hands down the L4, definitely good. Recommend it, no worries at all. So especially if you've got lithium ion batteries, this is phenomenal. And if you only want to charge one battery at a time, again, this is the unit to get. Hands down, it is really good. And it puts uh, more charge in the battery than the opposition one here, the EBL. I wouldn't worry about the EBL at the moment. It's, uh, yeah. It's a non-contender. <laughs> now, hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. Please consider giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter. You know, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. I'd appreciate that as well. And leave a comment. Perhaps you've got a different opinion as to which is the best battery charger. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And with a bit of luck, I might get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the best till then. Bye for now.